Hello everyone, Brachiosaurus227, and this review is going to be a little more interesting, and it's not a Nerf Blaster, it's not a Dart Zone Blaster, it's not a Busby Blaster. However, it is made, it, does, it, is, a, it is a Dart Blaster, kind of like Nerf. It does shoot Nerf darts, and I'm, this, is, this is definitely the weirdest blaster I've seen in a while. And this is the Walmart Easter Dart Popper, and I got the Triceratops version. It, it comes in a lot of other versions too, but I only got one. Okay, so Nerf, I mean, oh, sorry. Walmart released these in like their little Easter section, way to celebrate or whatever, that company that makes all kinds of weird party supplies for Walmart, uh, made this. It is a dart blaster. It's like a, looks almost like a rubber ducky or something until you realize these are like Nerf darts, a little shorter, but on pretty much Nerf darts. And you put them in here and I guess you squeeze this and it shoots them? I don't know. I'm really interested though. It only costs two bucks, so it's probably not that good. But I want to show you something funny. They're like, they're scared to even say the word shoot or fire anymore. So now it's do not aim at people, animals, or objects when discharging. So you can't even say fire anymore. Uh, when firing. Goodness gracious, Walmart. Um, I'm pretty sure this would not hurt a person. But yeah, let's 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 dig into this. I'm gonna open it and see if it's any good. Alright, so you have this. Ugh! Ew! There's teeth on this. Guys, Triceratops did not have red cheeks and teeth. I'm almost sure of it. Alright, now this is a pretty basic thing, I guess. There's not too much to talk about. There's no inch strike barrel luck. Just kidding. But, uh, yeah, this looks really interesting. Now let's take the darts out of the package. Man, this looks really interesting. And then, I guess you just put the dart into the blaster, and then you just kind of squeeze it. I don't sure. There's no instructions, so you just put it in there, and then you... Oh! Okay, I wonder if it if you do it fast. Oh wow, that had some pop to it. Wait a second, guys, this may not be bad. Let's see. So you just kind of squeeze it, dude. Nerf, make something like this. I don't know if it's going to be practical at all. Probably not. It's kind of big. It's bigger than a jolt. A little bit bigger than a jolt. That's fun though. Let me see if it shoots far at all, real quick. Not really, about 20 feet, which I guess is is expected. So yeah, definitely do not use this in a nerf battle unless it's like some kind of play thing. But that's pretty cool though. I wonder if I go do it really hard, will it shoot far? Kind of, but accuracy suffers terribly. But that's pretty fun. Okay. For $2, that's not, that's not terrible. Let me see if it works with like, uh... Dart zone darts. All right, so let's start with an X shot dart because I'm curious. I don't know why. I just have a feeling these are gonna. Yeah, those do not work in there. Maybe it's because it's a bad dart. All right, let's try a dart zone dart. <laughs> it would have to be like brand new. Oh goodness! So they have to be kind of thick darts, or like very stiff and brand new darts. So let's try the elite dart. Not really. It only seems to work with these kinds of darts unless you have a like a brand new dart. Let me see if I can find one. That's kind of cool though. Okay, I got the two firmest darts I can find. And not really. It doesn't seem to work. So it doesn't work. It's not dart compatible, which kind of sucks. But if you're kind of stupid, I'm not kidding. I'm just kidding. If you really wanted to, I actually might do this. You could brass the barrel. And maybe you can get a little more pop out of it, and you can shoot, like, 30 feet. And you could use it in a battle. So this actually has some mod potential, maybe. I have to get some brass to find out. But if we can brass it, I actually may do a mod video on this. Because if you can brass, put a piece of brass in the barrel here, you and get to shoot these darts, it actually might boost the performance a bit. So this even has a little bit of mod potential. That's kind of cool. So my thoughts on this. If you wanted to get this like a little little kid or something, this is like a perfect little toy fun blaster. If you just want to get it out of the sake of curiosity, 
it is fun, and I do recommend you pick it up. It's only two bucks. This is better than something like the Uppercut, and it does shoot 20 feet, and it may even have some mod potential. So, that's pretty cool. I actually like this. It's actually kind of fun. I give it a solid 8 out of 10, because it's $2. It's good for, like, little kids, and it even may have some mod potential. I will have to see. Don't quote me on that. I could be very much wrong, but... And we get brass in that barrel right here. It's like it's a solid plastic, almost like PVC. So I I don't see anything wrong with any. I don't see any problems I'd have with getting plastic in there. It's pretty cool. It's a neat little thing, and actually, not many people would suspect it being a dart blaster. I mean, if I could get this to shoot, you know, like fifty feet, which I doubt, but if I could get it to actually shoot good, this would be kind of a cool little surprise blaster. Because I mean, you're not going to think looking at this, you may think it's some kind of rubber duck toy even though there's a barrel there, but, I mean, if it has a dart, obviously, you'd realize, hey, it's, it's, it's gonna shoot this, right? It, it looks so weird, but so fun at the same time. I like it! I don't know what, I just like it! It's cool. So, yeah, um, I definitely recommend you pick this up, even if you're a performance nerfer, you're gonna have fun with this. It's like a fun little $2 dart launcher. Cool for, I guess, a collector, and these, I guess, are only available through Easter, so pretty cool. Um, also, yeah, I really like this. Uh, I give it, I give it eight out of ten. It's a fun little thing. Um, although it's not dart compatible, it may be able to be modified to be dart compatible. You only have three darts now. This would work with Busby darts. I already know it's gonna work with Busby darts. L let me go get a Busby dart. Let me go get a Busby dart. All right, here's a Busby dart. Oh, maybe it doesn't work. All right, I got a different one. See if that will work. This one's a little more firmer. Hey, it worked a little bit. So, yeah, it, it's not too dark compatible unless maybe we can mod it. Maybe. That's a big maybe. But I do like it. It goes with three darts. So, uh, since it's not compatible with Busby darts, I'm going to go down my rating to 7 out of 10 because that's just not too... It's not too great. Uh, range is about 20 feet. FPS is probably lower than 20. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It probably is 20. But, yeah... Anyway, pretty darn cool. I, I like it. I'm not gonna def definitely not gonna put it in my chronograph. But yeah, that's about it. I actually kind of like this. So yeah, leave a like, and I will do a future follow-up video if it can be modified. So yeah, don't don't expect a powerhouse or anything, but it will be kind of fun. So yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video, and it is going to be pretty cool. So bye bye, guys. I just realized. Um, if you can brass this, you have a short dart shooter, although I haven't brassed it yet, so that won't happen quite yet. My junk drawer, my junk drawer, so many things, I don't know what they're for, but I won't let it go, no, I will add more useless little things to my junk drawer.